The Paleogene is a geologic epoch that spanned 66 million years and ended 23 million years ago, marking the beginning of the Cenozoic era. The Paleogene, which lasted 43 million years, is most known for being the time when mammals developed from small, primitive species into a big collection of different animals following the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction catastrophe that terminated the previous Cretaceous period. The Paleocene, Eocene, and Oligocene epochs make up this time period. While we'll be talking about these epochs specifically in further videos, we'll try to get an overview of the Paleogene era here. For understanding the Paleogene era, it is crucial to take into consideration the KT extinction event. The Paleogene period begins immediately after the Cretaceous tertiary extinction event, often known as the KT extinction, which occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period. Many types of life perished, including around half of all plant and animal families and 76% of species, with non-avian dinosaurs being the most visible victims. The KT border, which separates the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods, is indicated by a discontinuity in the fossil fauna with high iridium levels in much of the Earth's geological record. There is also evidence of sudden changes in plants and animals in the fossil record. A significant but short-lived climate change may have happened in the Paleocene's early decades, according to some evidence. Let's move on to understand the Paleogene stages. It started with the Paleocene which began 65 million years ago and lasted till 56 million years ago. The Pangaea continent was completely detached at this point in time. All of the tectonic plates finally split from Antarctica, resulting in the formation of Australia. Both herbivorous and insectivorous eating tendencies occurred in small colonies of nocturnal animals. Rodents, birds, and reptiles that might have survived in this era can be found here. Next came the Eocene, the period which lasted from 56 million to 34 million years. The whole Western Hemisphere was shaped by the collision of tectonic plates, which resulted in the formation of massive mountain ranges. Around this time, the weather was hot and humid. The equator, meridian, and poles were all identified by temperature differences. Primitive species such as marsupials and lemurs made an appearance in the fauna. At the end was the Oligocene era which lasted from 34 to 23 million years. At the time, geology was focused on sealing the Tethys Ocean's eastern gap. In terms of the weather, the worldwide temperature was recorded to be subtropical and humid. With the coming of an ice age not long after, the tendency shifted to global cooling. The dwarf camels and the first elephants without tusks are two of the most important examples of the mammalian life in this era. Talking about geology and climate, during the Paleogene, continents continued to move closer to their current positions. India was colliding with Asia, resulting in the formation of the Himalayas. Each year, the Atlantic Ocean widened by a few centimeters. Africa was heading north, forming the Mediterranean with Europe, while South America was coming closer to North America, they would later connect via the Isthmus of Panama. Early in the period, inland waters retreated from North America. Australia had also broken away from Antarctica and was inching closer to Southeast Asia. During the Paleogene, the global climate changed from the hot and humid circumstances of the late Mesozoic era to a cooling and drying trend that continues today albeit being sometimes disrupted by warm periods such as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum. The creation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which considerably lowered seawater temperatures, contributed to the trend. Flora and fauna are considered to have had significant changes due to the KT extinction. During this time, mammals began to diversify rapidly. After the non-avian dinosaurs went extinct during the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, they evolved from a few modest and generalized species into the majority of the current variety we see today. Some of these mammals would grow to be large enough to dominate the land, while others would develop the ability to live in aquatic, specialized terrestrial, and flying settings. Some mammals migrated to the waters and evolved into contemporary cetaceans, while others migrated to the trees and evolved into primates, the group that includes humans. 
birds, which had already established themselves by the end of the Cretaceous, underwent adaptive radiation as they filled the void left by the now extinct pterosaurs. In comparison to birds and mammals, most other forms of life remained essentially unmodified during this time. Flowering plants, which had first appeared near the end of the Cretaceous period, continued to thrive during the Paleogene. The steady cooling of the Earth's climate allowed for the expansion of huge deciduous forests, especially on the northern continents, with jungles and rainforests increasingly relegated to tropical regions. The first grasses arose near the end of the Paleogene period, having a major impact on animal life throughout the subsequent Neogene period, driving the evolution of both prehistoric horses and the saber-toothed cats that preyed on them. Hence, the Paleogene era primarily was a critical phase in the development of mammals, birds, and reptiles, since they were free to occupy new ecological niches following the extinction of the dinosaurs during the KT extinction event. It then came to an end with the Oligocene era around 23 million years ago. We hope you learned something new from this video. Just like this, we would love to inform you about the past ages of our planet. Subscribe to Explify to stay updated. See you in the next one.